I don't think I've ever said it on my YouTube channel, how much I hate bugs. I hate them. I would do anything to eliminate all spiders from the universe. I hate spiders. I am deathly afraid of them. And uh, today we're going to be reacting to them. I'm not sure why, but for some reason I've been getting a lot of insect-related videos on my recommended page on YouTube. As you can see, uh, that is a lizard getting eaten by a praying mantis. Yeah. We're gonna react to some things today, and uh, yeah, I'm not in my normal recording room, reacting room, you could say. I'm actually in my bedroom. So this is where I am when I'm recording my VR videos. Actually, stand over there. And if you've seen my uh, secret spy stuffed animals skit, you probably recognize this guy right here. That's actually my Oculus headset right there. It's a Walking Dead poster right there. Hollow Knight. Resident Evil Village. So, we're going to react to some videos, and yes, we're about to witness some pain. Okay, so this is a guy that found a spider. Except the spider lives in a house. I think. Alright guys, so what we've just found here is actually one of my personal favorites. And a very, very interesting member of this sort of environment, if you will. So. Let's see if we can actually have a look. First of all, if you notice over here, it looks very inconspicuous. I'll actually clean away a bit here. Look at this. Looks like it could be an old tree stump. Maybe someone's trodden a little bit of uh, animal dung there and squashed it into the ground. But this is actually a home to a very incredible animal. How did so it let's make see that? If anyone is home today, what you like to do is just have something just to try and get into this little gap so we're not actually damaging the home at all but there is actually if you have a he look a just on the edge of here there's a little room if i was going looking for spiders i would have a shotgun into this room now i can already feel feels like someone's locking the door it was very rude of me i should knock first so you can actually get in and slowly but surely start to open up this amazing door over here. Look at that. Now already you can see that this particular creature Why is has your got babies, which is very, very cool. So what we're looking at here is a hole of what we call a trapdoor spider. So it's a member of the tarantula spider. family. And what they do is when they're very, very young, this sort of size, they'll leave the hole. They go and they dig their own little hole um, and they line it with web and soil and they keep it perfectly cylindrical as you can see and they build this perfect little trap door they've got these little holes in the roof that they can grab and shut the door after them and they'll stay in this hole for their entire life oh, so I let's hate see them. if there is anyone I hate home them all. now what is very interesting is as they grow they actually DIY and they build their houses build their holes as they grow so being part of the tarantula family they is are there very a big one? is there a big one? some members of the tarantula family can live over 20 years so Spider like this, 15 years, no problem. And There's all in a big the same one. Hole, There's a big one. Quite incredible. So, for all of those at home thinking that a couple of weeks of lockdown is tough, imagine spending your entire life in one little hole. But let's see if we can find anyone home. So, you'll notice that on this little piece of grass, I just bit the end a little bit. And all that's going to do is just allow this particular critter to be able to bite on and hopefully come out to say hello. Now the babies are a good sign because mom will typically still be around with them. And you just got to feel no. until we can feel a little bit no. of movement. You can see some of the babies are already starting what? to leave. What? What was that? Leave the web, leave the nest and start the animal journey. Oh, that was the web. I thought that was... Biting. I'm Cut. not ready for when it crawls out. I'm not ready. I'm Three. not ready. I hate them all. Cool. So, it's more or less, but I so say they do get to about the size of my hand. So this is what we call a trapdoor spider. I thought it was so going to like crawl out at some point. It was <laughs> literally just, just there when I... trapdoor lid itself. But uh, you can see just by the size of it, what we call a ground dwelling spider. 
Um, so spiders are broken up into two different groups depending on if they make a web or if they're ground dwelling. Um, your web making spider is what we call Arania morphs. Actually, in reference to their mouth parts, how their mouth parts move sideways. Your tarantulas, a lot of your ground dwelling spiders, like your golden, um, not your golden orbs, your um, baboon spiders, they actually have these downward facing, um, these downward facing mouth parts itself. So if they actually capture a prey, it's typically much larger, they don't have as much venom as the, the other species. So they've actually used their size to overpower them. Alright. So. That was terrible. I'm gonna look up creepy spiders. <laughs> I'm not even gonna show you that. I'm not even gonna show you that. That was so... There have been speculations that the next Dead by Daylight update is a giant spider. If they add that, I'm deleting the game forever. I am never making a video on it. I am never downloading it ever again. I hate them all. Okay, so this is actually cool. This is two spiders fighting to the death. <laughs> when a wolf spider meets a Sydney funnelweb spider, it's a deadly contest between the old and the new. Although there are almost 40,000 species of spider, they come in two main categories, modern or primitive. Like this Sydney funnel web, a dinosaur. It's changed little over millions of years. Isn't that like the... In terms of temperament, the Sydney funnel webs are just ill-tempered, cranky spiders. It's the grumpy old man of the bug world. It's still around today because it's a successful hunter. And the key to its reign are these. Two of the biggest, most powerful jaws in Spiderland, backed by super venom. You don't survive for several hundred million years without being effective predators and being good at what you do. So the funnel webs may not have many diverse uh, behaviors, but in fact, what they do, they do very well. But there are downsides to being spider version 1.0. It can hardly see from its eight eyes. Its lumbering frame isn't very fast and its lungs are underdeveloped, so it's exhausted quickly. It mostly lies in wait, in moist, shady corners of the forest, uh. with a small web funnel at the entrance. What characterizes these webs is it has a narrow funnel or a narrow retreat that the spider lives in. So it may have a hole in a log that's covered in silk and then it runs out from this uh, retreat in order to capture prey. But what happens when this prehistoric monster comes face to face with a modern day warrior? Oh, that was... Will the old still outgun the new? Next, the ultimate showdown, where winner takes all. So yeah, this, uh, I'm pretty sure this is a show. Where they literally just, uh, put in the world of insects monster against each other, bugs, and they, they There die. are two types of spider, modern and primitive. This is spider version 1.0, the prehistoric Sydney funnel web. The Sydney funnel web is not only a seriously cranky spider, but they really tend not to back off. They're really an ill-natured spider. 
their fangs are oriented parallel to one another, and so they strike down. And the way the funnel whip does this is it rears its carapace up and then strikes repeatedly down with enormous force. The force is reputed to be sufficient to kill a mouse, to crush a mouse skull. This cricket came too close. And the funnel web's caveman table manners make short work of any prey. While it may be showing its age, the funnel web is always ready to take on newcomers. This is Spider version 2.0, evolving much later. The modern wolf spider is faster, stronger, and loaded with stamina. The wolf spider is so fast in its feet, it can cover two feet in a single second. That would be the equivalent of me doing a 100-meter dash in one second. With state-of-the-art eyes, nothing escapes its attention. The wolf spider has four large eyes on the top of its head, but also has four smaller eyes coming across in a row in the front. This gives it fantastic night vision and some of the best vision of any spider. It lies in wait for a hapless victim like this cricket. Oh. He is fast and powerful, basically the cheetah of the spider world. He hits his prey so fast and so hard, they literally get bored. I hate over. this. I hate this video. Sharp-eyed, fleet-footed, packing powerful venom, the wolf spider is a major upgrade from its primitive cousin. Though it can outstalk and outrun any contemporary, sometimes it has to face off with its prehistoric past. Kill him. In a test of evolution. Kill him. The spider's best defense is his ability to outrun or outjump pretty much anyone. Although wolf spiders are faster, wolf spiders have vision on their side, I don't think wolf spiders are as intrinsically tough and ill-natured as a Sydney funnel web is. It's a full moon, and the wolf spider is on the prowl. Night vision and advanced weaponry ready to go. Also on the offense, a funnel web, its legs sensing the slightest movement on its trip lines. I hate you. The funnel webs will rear up, and you can see venom dripping out of the tips of their fangs. And they will stay in this position for 10, 15 minutes, ready to strike should uh, the potential predator or prey come any closer. Kill him. Kill him, get it done. The encounter quickly turns into a standoff. As two killers, close enough to touch, weigh their next move. It's a tricky standoff, like two gunfighters waiting for the other one to flinch. The funnel web spider has bigger fangs, but the wolf spider has the speed. One thing is for certain, the next move will be fatal. The funnel web strikes first. As the funnel web's massive jaws rip open the wolf spider, venom floods in. Deserved. Kill it. Today, old beats new. Ancient history wins the day. Although dinosaurs never made it to our present day, it's a different story in the bug world. Here, living history proves that new
isn't always better. I hate. It's been about 30 minutes. That is all for today. I absolutely hated making this video and I will never make it again. But, uh, I've been making, I've been getting a lot of videos like this on my recommended. And now I can finally tell them to beep off the reason I wasn't before. Sorry, the reason I wasn't telling them to beep off before was because I knew I wanted to make this video. And I knew I wanted to get scared. And now that I have been scared, I, I will probably never sleep again, knowing that there is a spider that moves at 100 meters per second. No, 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 no. Um, so I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna go um, look up if there is a game about killing spiders. If there is, I'm gonna make a video on it. Stay tuned for that. That's all for today. Goodbye, everyone.